Nothing seems the same Always on the go now Never seem to slow down You've been playing games You don't pick up the phone now well, You know I'm never home now Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you? Cause I've been missing your body Right beside me Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you? Yet another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha. Oh my goodness, I've been on a roller coaster ride and my tummy is squeezy. <laughs> Welcome today. We'll be reviewing the drama All of Us Are Dead. It's a 2022 Korean Netflix original drama with 12 episodes. Let's look at the highlights. Pick up the phone now. Well, you know I'm never home now. Tell me when am I when am I gonna see you? Cause I've been missing your body Right beside me Tell me when am I, when am I gonna see you You've been driving me crazy I can't take this All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do Is be right there for you Be right there with you All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do Is be right there for you Dead is a Netflix drama. I looked forward to this drama and I just kept on checking to see when you know it will premiere. It premiered on the 28th of January 2022 with 12 amazing, horrific, horrible, gory episodes. Now, this drama is a high school drama. It can be called that. It's a potentially high school drama because it was not just within the high school, they had to show other people connected to the drama as well which included parents of the characters and soldiers military and all of that now what am i talking about this is a drama that started introducing all the characters to this amazing drama what a way to start the year 2022 it has amazing actors and actresses like Park Ji-hoon, Yoo Chan-young, Yo Ye-hoon, Lo Mong, Yo In-su, Lee Yoon-mi, Kim Young-cho, Lee Kong-hoon and Jo be -so. Now this is a drama that I wanted to see what it entailed like I had earlier said it's a drama that has same storylines with Train to Busan. Now, if you've seen Train to Busan, hashtag alive, you understand where I'm coming from. This drama is in this apocalypse thing. From the name, you would know all of us are dead. Tells you part of the story. Now, all of us are dead. Has some connection to Train to Busan and hashtag alive. And if you've seen these two movies, you should know where I am heading to. All of us are dead is a drama is a series that took us through a lot of stories now we have these two neighbors and they each have 
one child each. Now, one of them is a firefighter, is a captain that has a daughter, and then the other couple has just one son. They sell fried chicken and all of that. Now, they are neighbors. So, these two children grew up together and they are all high school students. Now, we go into the school where you have this girl. She got pregnant and she was trying to put to bed. Now, the movie did not just dwell on this place. It just briefly and quickly introduced everyone. Now, where it started was about this science teacher, high school science teacher, who in turn his son and his wife into zombies in a bit to save their lives but it didn't end up well he was trying to contain me but was unsuccessful in the process you know high school student one student got beat by a rabbit which the science teacher was using for his experiments and then from that high school student everybody got infected you know from one thing to the other holding the girl this one got beat they did not just understand what they were dealing with at first in the process you know touch contact scratch biting all the high school almost you know 90 something percent of the high school students including the teachers got infected now you will see some students as you would see in most schools getting bullied those bullied children, you know the results cause and effect. Some of them vowed to take it beyond. Those who survived, the bullied kids, like two of them, you know, did things that were really unimaginable. So one, so everything was just from calm to crazy in like 15 minutes. Episode two, everyone was still confused, not just knowing what was happening at all. You will see the, ch the children, the kids scrambling from head to center, so different scenes showing different str struggles of kids and how they were getting beaten and how they were getting turned to zombies. Episode three, you would see this girl, they were all, you know, how survival groups, on even groups, you know, unintentional groups started coming up. And then this particular girl, she was so aggressive and, you know, trying to control once you just, just be like, oh, you're beating tension, desperation turned into inhumanity to their fellow humans. And then you will see this particular high school kid intentionally infecting her fellow classmates just to prove a point but at that point in time so many things had started going wrong meanwhile the students were trying to call the police you know to inform them that see what was happening and all of that and the police actually thought it was a prank this principal was not helping matters at all the principal gave a standing order to the teachers that you know, they should block and screen all the calls, seize the phones of the students so that they would not, that the outside world would not know what is happening. You will recall that the science teacher, you know, had unwittingly infected the whole school. And before everything started, before everyone got infected, before we could see everything, police had come and arrested the science teacher. So there was not much to be done there. By the time they were interrogating the science teacher, all hell had broken loose because the student that was the patient zero that the rabbit beat was taken to the hospital and when the student was being transferred to the hospital the student started you know infecting other people in the hospital and so the team spread in that county in that vicinity and everybody around the school which you know had the university had so many places the whole town went crazy there was no one to even help at first the police thought it was just a riot or something until they saw that it was more than that so they had to close up that part of town and institute a martial law in place the martial law did not help matters people were losing their humanity things were going on and wrong nobody to rescue the children no cry for help some parents that you know they were worried about their kids they came they were coming they got beaten and turned to zombies themselves so the, the children and the parents were at the mercy of luck and providence you know and it showed the different levels of survival running from some crazy students who you know were symptomatic they had gotten beaten but they did not turn to complete zombies but along the line you see the students that were asymptomatic started having urges to eat human beings you know without looking like zombies like they were reasoning properly they could not die and everything was okay they had increased agility well very fast but they were not zombies or well, they had this insatiable hunger to eat human beings fast forward to episode 11 this firefighter struggled after carrying out his rescue instructions he had he struggled 
and came all the way to rescue his daughter. So in episode 11, you will see him reuniting with his daughter for a very short time. <laughs> Sorry, spoilers a lot. And of course, the students were all losing their friends, their teachers, and in front of them, things were just going wrong. I think in episode 9, you will see that the martial law commandant sent a rescue helicopter to the school to pick up the laptop of that science teacher because the science teacher had said before he got turned that if there is any antidote they will find it on his computer so they had to send this rescue this tag team to the school to the song school to pick up the laptop and when they got there they saw students so they were like okay you know what let's go pick up the laptop let's go pick up our, pa our package let's come from we'll go for what we, we have come for or as we're leaving we'll pick you we'll take you meanwhile in the camp the refugee camp itself one of the students from there that i said was asymptomatic i got in there and trying to eat if i had killed someone and then the commandant got to hear about it and you know knew for the first time that they were symptomatic students or human beings that would not show signs of being beaten but you know exhibit the characteristics of zombies which is to eat their fellow human beings so he now told the soldiers not to rescue the children but in fact kill them one or two of the soldiers couldn't kill the, the, the students and the students were wondering what how they could stay how human beings could stay, the soldiers could stay and not rescue them. They couldn't just stomach it. Meanwhile, there's this class president, Namra. Namra is a bookworm. Namra is very intelligent. She had no friend except for Soyok. Soyok loves her and they were moving together when this whole thing was taking place. So Namra also got beaten by one of these asymptomatic guys or students and she started exhibiting those symptoms but she tried to control it and help the group you know there was a lot of collected scenes to make you scared to make you look to make you feel queasy in the tummy which i was most of the time as a matter of fact i couldn't eat i had to you know keep pausing the drama whenever it was time for me to eat and all that but i don't know i noticed that my son was just eating nothing he just kept on eating through the whole thing guys weird anyway so back to the story all of us are dead is a drama that is amazing what made me i kept on clapping through it because i didn't have any particular disapproving thing to say about the drama except in the final episode which is episode 12 sorry now episode 12 started in the way it ought to have started and ended in a very silly way silly way i would say because they could not really manage the conclusion are you trying to tell us that there's a season two coming up are you trying to tell us that okay we should look forward to this different breed of people like namra was saying that there were other people like her who are symptomatic with you know special skills and all of that who are choosing to stay hidden and really what happened to chosan because i don't believe that chosan just died like that so what is the end what is the tip in the conclusion of it all if those people that namra was talking about actually survived the fire that they used in trying to kill most of the zombies then why didn't chosan survive that's my own wishful thinking anyway you will see different things that will make you appreciate your bond with your loved ones like when the firefighter died trying to rescue his daughter and the way the never-ending push of the students to survive at the end of the day they survived korea was saved just a part of korea this incident happened and they just you know closed off that area without wanting to do so much now the way the drama was he just put it around the chosang high school and this osang province but trying to really understand what this some of the zombies did not die so how did they manage to cop all that and just you know micromanaged it all and that is it everything months later four months later blah 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 it didn't just make sense they were precise in episode one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ish but 12 was micromanaged and it ended up messing up the whole efforts of you know what had been done in the past 11 episodes and i'm not too happy about it it was a bit dark some stories were left hanging we don't know you just showed that bomb, that moment of need that moment of action and stories were not concluded here and here but anyway 
it cannot, I think, beat Train to Busan because everything, every detail was painstakingly accounted for in Train to Busan. But this, no, 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 there are some places that they need to neat beat and clean up properly. So I'm going to be rating this drama mm, for the suspense and trying to make it re look real or feel real, connect with the audience. I'll give them a 7 over 10. Okay, which brings me to the end of this drama review. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had a migraine. I stayed up for 36 hours trying to complete this drama and I'm glad it's done. Thank you so much for staying with me. If you know you haven't subscribed, do hit on the subscribe button. Turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up, yeah? And um, up there you see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. Keep watching. Until I see you next time, it's bye for me. Bye, bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.